Hey Virgos, welcome back to your reading. Kelly from House of Virgo here. If you're new, please smash the like button. If you enjoy the readings, personal reading link is in the description box below. I do have phone and text readings, so go check those out. Also, if you want to purchase any of the other readings I have on my Gumroad profile, I do have uh, timeless love readings and also love readings that are timeless with you and every zodiac sign so definitely check that out okay all right so we're gonna get into this i'm gonna do a celtic cross spread see what messages show up for you here we're going into august happy birthday august virgos your birthday is coming up okay so what's going on show virgo what the messages are coming up for the month of august 2024 I can't get my cards out of my hands. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Bottom of the deck. You have the lovers, Virgo. Love is in the air. Da, 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 da. Does anybody know what that song's from? <laughs> from what TV show? Oh my God, I'm dating myself. The lovers, two people coming together, making a decision to come together in August beautiful this is what we this is what we're talking about a deep love the choice a choice uh, a decision okay this is about a decision and the strength of two people coming together but you see how they're not grasping each other here they're not holding hands they're not touching they're not weighing each other down this is free being free to love one another under god under spirit very beautiful okay so this is the overall message now the past position virgo the page of cups so there must have been an apology in the past or someone being very sweet or a new love situation back and forth communication in the past now the current energy <laughs> trying not to jump someone's bones virgo what <laughs> Let me see if I can get this a little more so you can see it. Okay. Yes, trying not to scare somebody away. Okay. What the heck? Right? Um, Virgo, you are taking care of business every day. You're doing your thing here, Virgo. Being consistent, doing your work. Da -na 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 -na. Maybe trying to distract yourself from this Knight of Wands energy. Um, you know, this Knight of Wands energy is very impulsive passion, right? And it looks like you're like, no, 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 no. I will not, I will not jump on someone. I will not run and get wild and I will not get crazy. But you're also like, look at you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're nonstop. You're not even taking a break from your work or your duties. You're like, what are you doing, Virgo? Are you like hiding? Are you trying to just, like either you have impulsive energy and you're trying to stay on track and not get distracted by that or from that, okay? Um, now I will say this does, it's a challenge, but it is in a benefit position. Like Virgo, don't work yourself to death and don't hide from your opportunities some you know like by working so much you know like it's swinging the pendulum too far where you know Virgo's like okay I'm gonna either dedicate myself to my partner and let everything else just kind of whatever and just give 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 to my partner or I'm just gonna ignore or just love all together or any opportunities and I'm just gonna give 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 to my job right and I'm sure your job isn't appreciating you either so I kind of feel like this is your energy right now. I feel like you've got you've got offers and you've had them in the past, but you're ignoring them. All right. Look, I feel like you're really focused. You're settled and focused on becoming a boss, becoming like 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 it's like powering up being on your own right i know you i know you want love i know you want love but some of you might have some of you just might be in this place like you resolved yourself to just work focus on your business um get yourself in a leadership position like put some respect on my name 
I feel like you're really doing that, you know, being strategic, planning, but just kind of, you're almost in a military mindset, you know, like rules, 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 tasks, 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 okay? Got to get the job done. Look, even with the seven of wands here, you're just kind of like, it's like you're pushing back. Like, no, don't bother me. Do not distract me. I don't want love. I get into trouble. There's always problems. Um, I don't know what Virgo I'm talking to here. Somebody here, it might be one out of, say, the 10,000 people who listen to this video. I, it just might be only one of you. But you are in protective mode. Yes, this is also competing you're very focused on your work and I feel like you are ignoring love offers coming in or you're being very picky, which is, is the same as ignoring love offers. Okay. That's fine. Right? Look, moving forward, you have the hermit, but in, in the position of you and your advice, you want love, you want partnership, you want commitment, you want a happily ever after you want stability. Well, why? Are, okay. So moving forward, Let's just get stuff out of the way here, right? Let's just let's just get stuff out of the way. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna put all these like sideways, you know? And we're just gonna leave that there for a minute. You have the hermit. That's you. Okay, remember, the whole thing is about love right now. Or is about partnership. So you're doing some self-reflection moving in through August, thinking about some stuff. What are you thinking about here, Virgo? What are you thinking about? What's Virgo reflecting on? Gaining wisdom and knowledge about staying on their own. So gonna like take a break from working or just gonna start trying to get some clarity. What's Virgo trying to get clarity on? Oh. <laughs> Virgo, yeah, you know it. You gonna burn yourself out. Some of you might be hiding in work due to a very traumatic experience you've had in your life in regards to a relationship okay it's external to you is this five of swords so i feel like you might have this mindset where you know what's the point of everybody's messed up everybody is just gonna everybody's playing games i don't know i feel like you're dealing with something here love is calling Spirit is calling you to open your heart and give someone a chance. Whomever. I don't know who. Maybe an Aries. Maybe a Gemini. Maybe another Virgo. But. I feel like with the Five of Swords external to you, meaning others. Or other opportunities or love options. There's a lot of uncertainty that comes with love. It's a risk. Every time you take a chance to love someone, there's a risk that you're going to get hurt. The alternative is don't take the risk and you'll never have to worry about getting hurt. But then you'll never have love. You'll never have the experience of it either. And I think you might know that. I feel like you might come to realize that you're putting up these major blocks. Um, the only person in your way is you. And this is what I feel like you come to realize. The very thing that's exhausting you and burning you out are, is your own actions here. Look, you're the only one holding all those rods there and you're hiding behind them, right? So I'm not trying to like say you should get together with abusive people. I'm not saying that. But I don't, I think that you might be coming from a place of like, maybe healing um or just not ready to step out there again and I, I just want you to know if you've been through something traumatic or something difficult and you're not ready to step out that's fine you have to go at your own pace of course right because there are, there are going to be a-holes out there but you don't have to give in to everybody you just have to go slow and take your time right maybe you didn't in the past and you're trying to prevent yourself from becoming impulsive in love out of a sense of need or desperation or anxiety Okay, let me just see here. All right, yeah. So I do feel like there is someone external to you who has gone through the same thing as you. They've 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 been defeated in love, maybe even 
dealt with some abusive type of relationships and this person is is they're healing that they've also become how can i say this spirit saying hurt people hurt people so when people get hurt they tend to hurt others right as a reaction i don't think people really want to hurt other people but they want to just they're trying to protect themselves i feel like someone's external to you like so it could be an aquarius or it could just be someone in the star energy who is kind of in like um maybe like um like a spotlight the you know they could be a public figure it doesn't have to be but i feel like this person is healing from their whatever they went through okay so there is someone in your periphery uh or showing up in your life in august um who will be significant could be somebody that's reached out to you before through some kind of message or communication let me see here i just want to get one more one more clarifying card here okay yeah this person's definitely gone through the same thing gone through the same thing i don't necessarily feel like if you start talking to somebody or you decide you want to open yourself up a little bit and communicate with someone i don't think they're going to hurt you but i think they're sensitive because they've been they're healing that though so they might actually say to you if you do open up the communication you know i've been through a lot you know i was kind of the victim of someone who cheated or just was abusive or something like that but i'm really working on myself now how does that make you feel if you talk to somebody and they tell you that it's like there's this bond that gets formed you know where it's like yeah me too you know and i feel like this is really there is a coming together i do feel like there is someone that you've communicated with in the past who is going like they're still there even if you, even if they've communicated with you and you haven't talked to them yet there's they're still there yeah so maybe you might decide to respond to them or you might have already communicated with them now your hopes and fears listen you've got the nine of pentacles so there's a hope that you're you know you're gonna be good on your own and you should be to some degree you should be able to be comfortable with yourself and it's okay to work on your your business i feel like you're you're working this eight of pentacles you're trying to get it to the nine right you're trying to like build yourself up financially or just get some money in the bank or just be able to afford luxuries even or just maybe food or gas geez the gas prices like what the hell's going on in this world okay so you're definitely in that energy but there is a fear that you're going to dedicate so much time effort and energy to your career and to money that you're going to be all alone there is an offer coming in it's going to take time it's going to be slow okay there's a solid offer that will come in towards the end of august now what i'm going to do you guys um i don't have a lot of battery left so i am going to go over to the extended reading um you can click off now and just go get the extended reading to see how this is going to play out with somebody coming in with a, a, a solid offer who it is what's going on with that um but hang out with me if you want before you do that um i'm going to keep reading here see what else shows up for you in the love department okay so you've got messages of love let's take a look okay an external party intruding on a relationship and that external energy you know what that is external party that's fear 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 is no good we either operate out of a place of fear or love okay so this fear that a relationship is going to be passionate but not enduring there's fear great fear of giving it one more try and you know what the older you get the harder it is <laughs> it is because it's like if you've had difficulty in love not everybody does but if you've had it it's kind of hard to want to keep trying again you know but i feel like the message is don't give up right don't let this fear of someone uh, of of thinking that everybody's coming in is is coming in just for strictly sexual if you're look if you want more than that right obviously I, i'm sure you do okay right you might be in denial you might be denying people because you have a fear that they're only coming in because they don't want anything else but sex but they're gonna try to just offer love and then it turns out to just be sex right um I feel like your biggest message here is if you meet someone you're talking to someone make sure you keep your eyes open and read the room that's your responsibility 
people are always going to try to get something from us that's just the way life is everybody's trying out here trying to get their needs met but detach would love to clearly see the truth okay i feel like you might maybe you're distracting yourself because you're afraid you might get obsessed or someone might get obsessed with you all right but the, yep there's there's the key Find time to laugh, goof off, and just enjoy each other. Don't put major pressure on any relationship that you meet with anybody, right? Because then you're going to have these expectations. And whenever we have expectations, we always become disappointed. Just keep your expectations very low, right? I mean, basic standard expectations, like expect someone to treat you well with respect and honesty and loyalty and truth, right? Th those are standard expectations. Anything more? Um, we just can't put expectations on people, right? It's hard enough to do it for ourselves, right? I know you know what I'm talking about. I'll set up my schedule and I'll try to adhere to it. I expect myself, but sometimes things show up or happen and I just can't do it every single day, certain or follow the guidelines every single day. It's hard enough for us to meet our own expectations. Imagine how difficult it would be for somebody else no, you know what I mean? I feel like that's the message right there. I don't know. I just feel like that's the message. Let's see what's going up here. Yeah, so there will be an extended reading to see what more will come out of this. So definitely check that out. All right, what else does Virgo need to know? You have a guardian angel, a lost loved one is watching over you, Virgo. Okay, someone in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage us. Okay, that's the second time we've had an interference, but I feel like it's it's I feel like it's more fear, a fear of someone else or uh, a cheating scenario. You got to trust your guardian angel. Okay, someone is expecting. That's not pregnancy. This is you expecting. Quit expecting. Keep your expectations to a standard minimum. <laughs> oh my gosh, someone's expecting. Guess who it is? Yep. Some of you might be expecting someone to be unavailable and a waste of time. Oh, you got to work on them expectations, Virgo. Yes, you do. You got to work on your expectations. Where are they realistic and where are they unrealistic? Okay. And you got to give something time. Everything in divine timing. Just kind of let things flow. What other messages do you have here? Let me get just a couple more and then we'll do your Chinese signs. Gosh, it's only 19 minutes. It's going so short. Wow. You have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. A happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your kids, raising children wisely and successfully, and having people around you you can trust. That's a happily ever after. Expect that. Expect that. Because you, you're put on this earth to be happy, not to suffer. You also have the page of coins here. Scholar, you're scholarly, cheerful, dependable, and sometimes mischievous. I don't know, Virgos are, can be very mischievous, for sure. Time to get to work. Well, Virgo's like, no, I know. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, scholarships, a new area of study. Yeah, so Virgo, I feel like you're going to get like some kind of bonus or money or a check of some sort is coming in. If you have ideas for things to make your, your work life easier, put, implement those so you can make more money. Work smart, not hard, Virgo. Okay, and you also have, wow, the Nine of Cups, wishes come true. Your dreams become reality, a magical time of life, good fortune, faith in the universe that all will be well. That's the key. Stay positive. Don't let fear run your life. All right, let's take a look and see the Chinese sign of the person that's coming in. Who's coming in here for Virgo? Okay, year of the dog, year of the goat, year of the dragon, year of the rat, year of the ox, year of the rabbit, year of the pig, and you're the tiger, okay? So you'll know them by their animal scent. That's what I say. Yes. All right. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit quick, but that's all right. Don't forget, you guys, I uploaded a video earlier today. Uh, 
it was about you have you you have someone all in, up in their feels about you their feelings about you go check that out it was uploaded earlier in case you missed it okay we have aquarius cancer double aquarius aquarius in the house february and a february aquarius so we also have a january aquarius okay so the end of january wait yeah the end of january into february um all aquarians are, are february but towards the end up till i think february 21st yeah something like that okay 1968 1965 august 25th august 31st 57 77 48 pf changs i just heard 1985 july significant month it's not over yet September 4th, okay, uh, Fox, someone's name is Fox, last name Fox, or someone's a Fox, or Foxy Lady, Fox, okay, QV channel, QVC, is that channel still even around, do people still purchase things off of that channel, I have no idea, be careful of the pox, the chicken pox, what the hell, um, Wait, isn't there like another pox? Monkey pox? What the heck? Is that going to show up back in the news again? Oh my gosh. Okay. We got... Hmm. Two P's. P.P. -P. Peter Pan. Whoa. Some of you were dealing with someone with Peter Pan syndrome. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Um, Vice President. Some of you are working on that goal where you are taking a job as a vice president or you already are vice president of a company we have here the ox yes yeah, someone's name is pop pop someone calls their someone pop or poppy pop okay we have o x v vox what's vox i don't know what that is letter f someone's name starts with an f okay Interesting. Yeah, that's a good some charms. Oh, there's a choo-choo train is back again, you guys. Locomotive. Isn't that a song? Come on, baby, do the locomotive. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at this. You've got a diamond. Hey, you want to see something cute? If you see, like, a diamond or a gem... Look, I have one on my phone. I just put it on there yesterday. Look, and I have the magician, because I'm all the magic. I am all the magic, making things happen, right? There's my diamond. So, right, if you see one, you're seeing one here. <laughs> if you see one, this is a message for you, 100% for sure. We also have a rhinoceros. Okay, somebody is getting or has had a rhinoplasty. And there's the saw. Jeez. Hmm. Um, somebody might be like a um, involved in PETA, I think. Is it PETA? But there's something about um, ivory tusks. Somebody's involved in that or supports that in some way. You know, how they kill those poor animals for the ivory. Uh, is that PETA? I can't remember. I think it is. I think I'm saying that right. Or something with the... Yeah, look. And here we have a monkey. No, that's not a monkey. Oh, that's a cat. Oh, jeez. Y'all, please... Please don't be doing this on the internet with your butt sticking up. Okay? Please don't. Please don't put yourself out there like that. Yeah. No good. That's no good. Uh... Some of you might have, uh, well, I guess unless you're getting paid for it. I mean, hey. Uh, some of you might have a cat that they need their, their back of their, <laughs> they need their, every time you scratch the back of your cat's, like, little butt area, they, they like, they get all excited or they, they, they nudge up against you. Uh, maybe your cat's doing that right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> one more. One more, please, for Virgo. Okay. So, all right, they gave you two. You have a musical note here. 
So there's a connection to music with somebody. You also have a Chinese star. That's what I'm calling it. I don't really know what it is, but it feels like a Chinese star. Some kind of connection to, I think that's like a martial arts weapon, a Chinese star. Or someone's, someone's from China and they're like a movie star or a Hollywood star. They're Chinese or some kind of connection to a Chinese star or something along those lines. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Link in the description box below for the extended. Go over and check that out. If you want that, if you want to support the channel, that's a great way to do it. Book a personal reading with yours truly. There's all the links, everything you need right underneath the video in the description box. Thanks everybody for being here. If this resonated, pop a one in the comments or in the chat. I would love to hear uh, if this resonated for you and I will see you back here tomorrow with your weekend reading. Also, don't forget to check out if you're not getting notifications. Listen, if you're not getting notifications, YouTube has been unsubscribing. Okay. I don't know why I'm not that big of a deal. So I don't, I know it's happening to a lot of other channels. So make sure go check after you leave this, this reading, make sure that you're subscribed. If you're not, click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you can be alerted to when I upload all the extra readings and also make sure that you have that ticked enabled in your phone setting in your device setting as well or you won't get the notifications all right you guys I'll see you back here tomorrow love you bye